these youth here at the Ajami Youth at Risk Center in Jaffa what they hope to be in five years? They used to find it hard to answer, but now that's changing, and they're less uncertain about their path forward. I didn't get along in school, so I went to another school, and I didn't get along there either. And I was just on the streets, so my grandfather told me to come here, and this place pulled me in. If these youth aren't here, they would be on the streets, and it's known what's on the streets of Jaffa. 2020 witnessed a record 106 crime-related deaths among Arab Israelis, 12 more than in 2019, with 94 fatalities. At the time, it was a record. This picturesque seaside neighborhood of Ajami has a dark side. It's notorious for its gang wars. Earlier this month, a well-known activist who was trying to reconcile warring crime families was shot dead. But locals here hope that will change. He arrived here, and I asked, what is your dream? And he said, Ahmed, I want to be a famous criminal in Jaffa and make a name for myself. Ahmed paired him with a local shop owner in the community, and now he's seeing there are other options. I still don't know what I want to be, but I'm learning how to cut hair here, and I'm going to see where that takes me. The center's mentor program matches successful adults in the community with youth who are interested in learning their trade. Ayman Mudra owns a successful real estate business today, but he spent his youth on the streets. And now he's a mentor. Together, we worked on self-esteem. Before real estate, we learned about office culture and doing business. My dream is to be a real estate entrepreneur, and I came here to fulfill that dream with my mentor. He's teaching me how to speak to clients and how to speak in front of people. The program is a joint effort between community leaders in Jaffa and the Tel Aviv municipality. We want each child here to have a horizon and have a dream and accomplish everything he sets his sights on. During the pandemic, these youth also organized deliveries to those in the community who cannot leave their homes. And its founder hopes that through mentorship and education, youth in Jaffa will be able to march to the beat of a new drum. We're working here to make a change, and we are on track to do it. We explain to them that life can be different if they choose a different path. Emily Rose, I-24 News.